Welcome to Twinwood Festival. Day three. 2021. <laughs> Come with us. Yeah. What are we doing? I don't know. <laughs> Loving these. <laughs> Old classic tools turned into uh, lamps. Especially the blowtorch. Look at that. That is brilliant. Yeah. This trumpet thing. I've got one other one, but it's, uh, it's had a lot of work. Oh, did you check the clip on it? You see, that's what I'm loving about the place. Unique. That's very the word. Unique. unique. Yeah. That's very nice. It is. Nice picnic car on a Sunday afternoon. We've got the picnic basket on the back. Can you see it? It's a 1948 MG Midget. Beautiful, look at this. That's like material. It doesn't look like it. It's like leather, but it's not even leather. It's canvas, isn't it? Canvas. Yeah. That's nice. Very small in here. Have you actually looked in here? Where would you put your legs? This is perfect for me, though, isn't it? I always struggle to reach pedals. <laughs> you wouldn't struggle with that one. No. <laughs> No. They actually call it Ursula, Mazzy. Yes. And it's got a personalised uh, number plate. Well, Ursula. An E-type Jaguar, Mazzy. Yeah, it's beautiful. We didn't see this yesterday. Oh, didn't see it. Yeah. Check out the uh, how it opens at the back. I think my favourite part, apart from the actual uh, oh, the steering wheel, which you're not going to be able to see very well through that light, check out these beautiful wheels. Look at that. And for all your oil heads out there that love all this, there's the engine. Looking quite spectacular, been polished up a little bit, obviously. It's not bad, is it? It's all right, it's lovely, isn't it? It's beautiful. What a lovely, lovely car. Can I have one? No! What is it? You don't know? No, tell me! Chevrolet, the Bel Air 1955. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Let's go and have a look in the interior. This struck my eyes. That is beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it's been restored very nice, isn't it? I don't think I could get on with that gear stick. I do love the red steering wheel, though. Do you? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, it's a bit long though, There's isn't it? There's a lot of red in there, actually. Maybe that was the only material that they had. You won't be able to see <laughs> over that steering wheel. It's very high. Oh my gosh, yeah, I see what you're saying. It's very high steering wheel, yeah. Very high <laughs> and very uh, stuck into your body. No, I wouldn't be comfortable driving that. Very nice, beautiful. then. So, should we have a look at something else? Got yeah, but I like it. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. This would look cute. Jeans, high heels. Seventy-five pounds. Oh no, we're not at this year. Do you, you know what? You can get six it. large pizzas for seven and, and and really, and I'd rather than my jacket. Yeah. Really nice oh, it's beautiful. But can I have it? You've got a shawl on there. One. What more do you want? Yeah. Yeah. A jacket. Oh no, no, ain't happening. It is not happening. Spy glasses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you see what's going on? I. Can you see what's going on? You gotta look weirdly. Yeah, I can see sort of behind me, but like I can see what's going on down there. Yeah. I'm thinking, why don't I just go oh, look down there? Because <laughs> somebody. <laughs> might be coming up with you, behind you with a knife and stabbing you in the back and you're going to see them aren't you? I'd hear them coming. Oh. I just can't see why. You'd need, why don't you just turn around and have a look? <laughs> okay so we've just been advised by the lady who owns these to read the back. They're for perverts. Ah, don't say that word. Well they are aren't they to be a secret admirer when on the beach. So when I'm with you I can be pretend, I can be looking at you and you're talking to me and I'm going yeah 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 but I'm actually looking at Lucy. Now, now you like the glasses. I, I, I think I should get these. No. No absolutely not. Something I forgot to mention. Bobby Davro one of the best comedians of all time, massive in the 80s, is here. They played last night at midnight, midnight, till half past one, in front of an audience of about 200 pounds in a little shed. Like one of these little, basically like this, it might actually be in here. 
just in a little hut, 200 people, till half past one in the morning. You know, this guy's a legend. Why isn't he playing at seven o'clock at night on a main stage or something? Well, his friends went to see it. Um, we weren't going to be up at that time, but he's on again tonight, same time. Bobby Davro, what a legend. He's about 70 now. This dude's on as well, and I'm not sure if I know him or not. Is he another comedian? Singing, Dan's just taking footage of those. Finally, we captured them, didn't we? Beautiful. Finally, that was really beautiful. Yes, very beautiful. I I'll be honest, I was filming them. I wasn't actually looking at the girls because I was looking through the lens on here. Beautiful they're only kids. And they're beautiful. They're only about 18, aren't they? Are they going off now? Yeah, that's it. Aww. We'll keep missing them. <laughs> Another museum? Yes. This is an aviation museum. But we take a look. Yeah. Uh, just noticed this here, the gas warning hand rattle. So I actually saw one for sale the other day. Did you? Yeah. How much? I think it was £55. I wanted it, but I thought, no, I'm not going to mention it. So I've spent all my money on you. <laughs> I could live in here quite happily, Mazza. I love it. It reminds me of my nan's house. <laughs> it's very cute. I'm guessing cute, 1940s it? kitchen. Yeah. 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 Still eating the same things as we always did. But in them days they all had tea, didn't they? Nowadays it's all coffee. Coffee, isn't it? coffee, coffee, coffee. And actually we ran out of coffee, didn't we? And bless one of our neighbours gave us a jar. Thank you. The place is full of scrap bits of crashed aircraft in here. Which I do find fascinating, but also quite morbid. You never know if people have died in these crashes. It is all over the place. You are so clever. Training capsule. I'm correct, am I? Yeah, it'll be for training, that. And indeed it was. It's for teaching them how to fly. I'm very clever. You are incredibly clever. Yeah, there's a picture of that. Yeah, there's a man inside. Might even be the same one. I don't know. Okay, we're in heaven now. Bygone days. Bygone toys. Yep. No, how many of you viewers are older than us and really, really old and dying? How many of these do you recognise from the good old days? Now, I'll tell you one game I had as a kid. Believe it or not, I had a whipping top. <laughs> I bought a whipping top in Grassington and I used to love making these Airfix models. Spend all day doing this. And this one's just for Dracula. Martin himself. I think he'd be impressed with this. Oh, there's a lot of work going into that. Martin once took me into his loft and he has done it all out. Pretty similar to this. It looks incredible. So there you go, Martin. Fill your boots. You're going to love that one. Lots more Meccano. I did say in a previous video my mum never let me have Meccano. I only ever got Lego. And I think she told me off last time we went back, she says, it wasn't that we didn't let you have it, you just wanted Lego. <laughs> 1940s pram. That's a good, so that's good, good for kids, isn't it? Yes. Teaching girls. Yeah, the girls. Weaving loom. Going back to this though, apparently a few of these admit this and the detail that goes into this, just doing the little stones, exactly. you know, when it took time. It's something I've always wanted to do, but yeah. never had the room to do this. Cost money as well, that'd be quite expensive. Yeah. But for me, it was always the grass banks. I always wanted to have a go at making them grass banks because they look so realistic. Amazon! <laughs> Amazon! <laughs> no, Mazzy, it's A. Mason, the ironmongers. No, this one all our Amazon. No, it's Mr. Mason, the ironmonger. Oh. This is really cool because for such a small little part of this museum, yes. they've turned it into like four shops or five shops. It looks like a street. Ironmonger's over there. Coal 
cart there. It's a bit dark in here, sorry. Clothes shops. Clothes shops over there. Cake shop. Very nice. So this is an Anderson air raid shelter in this uh, doorway. And I'll tell you what, I've, I've lived in smaller places than that. <laughs> I'd be very comfortable and happy oh, in that. Yeah. Not sure where we've cut. Oh, it's the air raid warden's uh, place. I'm guessing this is the air raid warden. As soon as Mazzy walked in, he seemed very pleased to meet her. What's going on down there? A World War II 1944 metal detector. That's funny. That hasn't changed much though, if you think about it. Well, it's a lot heavier, Mazzy. Yeah, I imagine. That's quite solid. Oh, yeah, that's heavy. I bet it's better than some of the ones I've been sent to review. <laughs> The finished. Yes, we're going to about to buy this CD. We are going to buy a CD. Absolutely. I'll tell you what, I've heard a lot of bands in my time, but I've never actually gone and bought the CD. Never. But this is the best uh, yeah. group I've heard in a long time. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, mate, that was yeah. great. Thanks so much. Glad you enjoyed it. I love your atmosphere. You're dying. Thank you. Dive about it. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah we got a good night. Thank you. Junko Shakers, that's the name of the band. Misbehaving, this is album number two. Apparently the, there's one song on here which we've just heard, which is also on album number one, but they ran out of songs on oh, album is. number two, so they just threw it on yeah. number two as well. And they just admitted it. I think this is one of our favourite stages, isn't it? The moonshine clay. Basically, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Yeah. So we're sticking to the same stage. A new band's coming on in a minute. We've got his last drinks for the day. Sat down, yeah. chilling. Some young fellas and they sound good one, two, already. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, That's, two. Good. That's good. Welcome to Twin Woods Festival, day number four. Four. Yes. Carrying on from yesterday, we didn't get enough footage, yeah. so we're carrying on. Just notice these bags. How cool are these? These are the big B24. Snoopy and Popeye. I'm just thinking if you're a plumber, that's like a plumber's bag, isn't it? You get all different ones, look, they're only five pounds. Two minutes into day number four. <laughs> We're looking at ladies' shoes. <laughs> I've come back to them. Um, just want to see how much they are and stuff. I can't believe they're not sold yet. Four days and they're not sold yet. <laughs> okay, I got them. Thanks, babe. <laughs> shoes. What did you say on day one? What? I know. I'll get, if you get me the shawl, I won't ask for anything else. I no. promise. I promise. I promise. But I did really love those shoes. I haven't stopped dreaming about them. And they're still there. A vlog oh, full of shoes. No one's interested. None of you are in 50 percent. At least 50 percent of us audience are not interested in your shoes. Well, stop going on about them then. <laughs> what did happen whilst I was waiting for you, Mazzy? Yeah. This mannequin fell on the floor here. Oh, 
I just turned round and I saw a woman on the floor and my heart missed a beat. Oh no! Just a <laughs> sold them all. We sold them all. Yeah. Pretty much, sure, yeah. 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 Cotsrodradios.co.uk if anyone's interested. Really good radios. And you just says the one you wanted still there, and he says, no, I've just sold that one. Yeah, and, that and one the one behind, behind it. it. So they've done really well. Brilliant items, though, aren't they? Unique, yet yeah. again. You can buy them online, and I think one day we will actually. Bluetooth radio. Be nice, wouldn't it? Vintage. So it is the last day of the show. And we've noticed this in a few shows, haven't we? It is bank called in Monday. Yeah. Go it's on. not so bad here as such, but it is happening here. But at every show we go to, come the very last day, everybody just seems to go. And that goes for all the vendors, the traders and everything. And it makes the last day for everyone else that is staying. At well, the end of the rubbish. day, it's a bank called in Monday and people are paying it just to come in today. Yeah. A day ticket. Yeah. All the classic cars are gone, apart from one. Oh, there's two over there as well. Yeah. This was full of classic cars. Now, if I paid just for the day ticket, I'd be pretty disappointed. Yeah. We just couldn't do it anymore. Knackered. <laughs> we weren't gonna go today. Um, we really went for it for the first three days. Had loads of fun. Yes. It's been fantastic, hasn't it? Yeah. But we wanted to go up there and try and finish yesterday's video off. But we just know we've had enough. Yeah, we're knackered. We didn't even get to do an evening, did we? We didn't uh, do an evening, no. No. That's we, how we much are, fun we had during the day. We are daytime <laughs> people. Um, but yeah, Mark's out yeah. of ten, Mazzy, for the festival. Ten. Absolutely ten. ten. If I had to knock it for one point, would just, for me, I personally think it's a little expensive. It's a little expensive. That didn't bother me. No. I'll be honest. I mean, if you've got money, fine, it's brilliant. What <laughs> does bother me is the field that put us in. Yes, we got us electric, fantastic. We're happy. Yeah. The wonders were going to be a bit out of the way. Yeah. But there are people who've been camping down here with no toilets and no yeah. fresh water. So I felt for them a little bit. So it does depend on what field you get. I highly recommend just the extra getting the electric for the week. Because yeah. five days is a long that time, isn't yeah. it? By this fourth day, I'll have to be honest, brass band type music is starting to do me head in. <laughs> I just can't wait to get back in the van and start listening to The Prodigy or someone like just that. Just in peace and quiet now as well. We have it all night here, don't we? Mm. <laughs> no, but it has been amazing. It has. We wouldn't have changed it for the world. Yeah. So thank you very much, Twinwood, yes, for a fantastic thank festival. Yes. Thank you to all us neighbours for making us Aww. feel welcome. Yeah, it's been a lovely community down here. We've all it been has. helping each other with this, that and the other. It's been lovely. It has been nice. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed yes. us, uh, what was it, three Twin Woods um, videos. videos. Yep. Quite a few review videos coming up. And then Scotland. Yes. We are setting off to Scotland in one week. Yep. Um, with our new bikes. We haven't got to test out our new bikes properly yet. With those e-bikes. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be the best trip uh -huh. of all time ever and we're yeah. planning on staying there till after Christmas so do not miss all them up and coming videos yeah so from Twin Woods from Mazzy and Dan yeah the travel trolls TV Goodbye. see you all later bye bye, -bye. Love